Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to animate images and other objects within Adobe Premiere. So to get started we're going to open up Premiere. And here you can see I've imported a couple of images into uh, my library. And so we're going to be using these. So I'm just going to take and drag them down to my timeline. So just take them and drag them in. And a lot of times your images will look like this when you first um, import them. And if you have that, just hold Alt and scroll your mouse wheel down in order to zoom in on your timeline. So once you have that, what you're going to want to do, um, let me actually show you what these pictures are. If you take and double click on the picture, it'll bring up um, the full view of it. Basically, this one's just some earrings. Um, I took this picture when I was in LA. And the significance of it is that I was looking through the window and I saw this uh, $20,000 price tag on this pair of earrings. So I thought that uh, it was worthy of a picture. So we're kind of going to be focusing in on that price um, in our animation. So and then this one, um, this one's just a picture of the Hollywood sign with some trees in the foreground here. So um, to actually get started, we're going to take and need to size down our images a little bit. So I'm going to go up to 10% on our um, viewing window over here. Click on our first image and I'm going to make this a little bigger so we can see it and we can actually take and scale this in a little and I guess we'll just make the earrings more of the foreground and then we'll kind of pan over to the price tag because that'll kind of be more of a dramatic effect alright so now that we have that what we need to do is take and scale this back up we can go over to effects controls and in order to make any kind of animation or any kind of motion within um, Premiere what you're gonna wanna do is first click on the thing that you want to take and animate so in this case this first picture so then once you have that you're going to wanna go into your effects controls you can find that in window if you don't have it um, I have mine right here and you're going to wanna look for motion now all clips um, images, video clips, um, anything that you really put should have motion opacity and time remapping already as video effects on there. So what you want to do is click this little triangle for motion and you'll see it'll bring up a bunch of options. Now here this is pretty much just like After Effects. Um, you can click on the uh, little stopwatch in order to make a keyframe and you have position, scale, rotation and some other options. So for this one we're only going to be using position but if you're scaling it or you're rotating it you're going to make sure you click the stopwatch for those um, attributes as well. So what I'm going to do is click the, make sure you're at the beginning of your clip, click on the um, stopwatch for position and you'll see it adds a keyframe right there. And so what you want to do is make sure that your image is in the spot that you want it for this first spot. So I want it to look like this. So make sure that then we'll put it in a keyframe. And so we'll go to the end. And then what we want it to look like there, we'll basically just adjust our image. And it'll automatically insert another keyframe. So let's say that we want to focus in on that price tag. So now you can see that it has added in a keyframe there and we have a nice little motion and you can see that the motion is kind of denoted by this little line here and you have this little crosshair that kind of follows along to show you exactly where it's going to go. So we'll just do another one here. Um, I have the Hollywood sign so we can take and click on this and we'll probably need to scale it out a little bit so we can see the bounding box and so I'm just going to take and maybe start it out here in like the shrubs and um, then kind of pan it over to the right so we're just going to, going to get to the very beginning here open up motion hit the stopwatch scroll to the end and usually it's like one keyframe right before the end that's actually the last um, spot that you can actually put a keyframe so then we're just going to take and drag this over so we can see the Hollywood sign and now we have a nice little animation for that too. So if I click on this window and then hit the little tilde key which is right next to the one, it'll open it up in full screen and then I can go down to like 50% and show you guys what we have. So now we have a nice pan over to the price tag. And then we can pan over to the Hollywood sign. So it really um, helps you give, especially for still images, it help you, helps you give um, a much more cinematic effect um, those two images just still on the screen um, in like slideshow um, version would not be as appealing as this. Uh, it definitely gives another layer of interest to your work. Um, so if you're doing anything with images I would definitely recommend um, using a pan effect. You might um, not have it as zoomed in here but just a little bit of movement helps um, keep the viewers interest. So um, 
basically this uh, tutorial is about motion. Now, this I showed you specifically still images, but you can do this with, um, I'm pretty sure, video clips, and I know you can also do it with text, like if you were to go up and make um, titles, like a new title, you can take and animate that as well. Um, so I would definitely recommend using After Effects if you're going to be doing any complex animations. Um, but if you get into Premiere and you need to make a quick title animation, you want something to fly on there, um, then it's definitely a good way to do that. You don't have to export it out of After Effects and everything. So Premiere definitely has um, capabilities to help you do things pretty quickly. Um, but anything more complicated, you wouldn't want to use After Effects. But um, this is definitely... Um, helpful and you can take and use it to uh, make your projects a little bit better, a little more interesting. So I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you next week with a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.